What's up YouTube, Jay Nantastic here, and today I'm gonna give you a tour of the new setup. So, you guys said that you would like to see my new workspace. Most of you know by now that I have moved, so I am no longer in the place where I previously was, where I had the green screen behind me. I am now in a new living situation. So, I'm gonna flip this around and give you guys a sense of what I see all the time. So bam, here is my computer PC setup. This is a lot different than it was previously because it was uh, flipped around so that my back was against the wall so that I could have the green screen. But this is actually much, 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 much better um, just because I have so much more room. I have so much more room for activities. Like look at all the space that I have now. Um, before I was really cramped in the corner and I had to have the desk flipped around the other way so I'd have to like climb behind it and not only that it made cable management incredibly 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 difficult wires were hanging out everywhere and everything is clean everything is behind the desk tucked away my lights are out of the way so I don't trip over them all the time so this orientation is great I've been thinking about possibly getting like a pop-up green screen or building my own or something or just doing something right there so that I can have a green screen if I need it it's not the biggest deal. I don't know how much I'll miss it. Probably not that much. Um, but this is what I'm working with. You guys can take a look. Look at what I look at every day. I have this cool sock on my microphone. Um, that's my, my pop filter. It does wonders. People, you don't have to spend a ton of money to get quality stuff, which you can also see with my mattress foam soundproofing, which it's over there too. It helps out a ton. It helps out so much. It cut down on so much sound, it's actually phenomenal because my daughter actually sleeps on the other side of that wall and I don't wanna wake her up all the time. So that's what the foam is for. Um, let's see, yes, I have three different monitors. Yes, it bugs me to death, but again, monitors cost money and I can make do right now. I have this really nice Samsung monitor that I have hooked up to my consoles, um, so that way my consoles look pretty good. And uh, when I can, I wanna get a new monitor for my PC so that my PC can look really good as well. Right now I just have a kind of a cheaper Acer and then I have the first monitor that I ever bought that was like $90. So it's what I just use for my secondary monitor to, um, you know, if I'm streaming or whatever, I keep the stuff that I'm not looking at all the time over on that side. Um, let's see, I have my mic, modem router, all that kind of stuff. I have my cool Star Wars glass, the greatest mouse pad in the entire world, right there. It's actually phenomenal. Um, let's see, my PC is actually under my desk down there, so you can see that right next to the trash can. Um, this, oh man, this chair is really comfortable. It's, it's a pretty good chair. It's the best chair that I've ever had. I've slowly upgraded over time. However, it is fully leather, and it's the hottest thing I've ever sat in in my entire life. So, the, the one day this will be replaced with a DX Racer. DX Racer, please. Please, save my back, save my butt, stop me from sweating like crazy. I need a DX racer to put right there. So one day, maybe the dream will come true. I've been chasing a, a DX racer for my entire life. Uh, <laughs> let's see, I got my consoles over here, so I got my PS4 on top, got the Wii U down there for that kind of thing, and I uh, got my games down there. I don't have a ton of games right now. I usually, I trade some in after a while when I get done playing with them and that kind of stuff, but uh, you know, you know how it be. This wall, this space is a little bit bare. I need to get some more stuff to put up. I got my sweet Vegeta boxes down there. They made it through the move. Um, those are from Misaki, which uh, if you don't know, SamuraiBuyer.com, you can check that out. Um, he has a really great website where you get a bunch of stuff from Japan if you need it. Um, let's see. I can kind of give you guys a sense of what I use all the time to record too. So I have my Elgato HD60S right there that I record with. Um, I have this HDMI splitter, which is what I need to record my mobile stuff so that I can record my Android screen with top-notch quality. It actually runs through the Elgato as well. Um, let's see what else we got. The 1UP box, which uh, there's a video on my channel at this point too. I think these videos are going to go up on the same day where you can watch me unbox my first 1UP box, um, which is actually, hold on, let me flip this around. You can see this shirt right now. This is where I got this shirt out of that 1UP box, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's the entrance to my office. Look at this sweet light switch. My parents showed up one day and they were like, we found this light switch at a garage sale or something we thought of you. And I was like, that's amazing. I had got, I gotta put it up. So <laughs> I don't know why it says Budokai in there. I guess it was from the video game, but I'm not sure why they made it into the light switch, but uh, phenomenal, phenomenal, why not? Um, let's see, we got a bunch of cool stuff up here. I love bottles, I don't know why. So all, <laughs> all of these Coke bottles are really, really old. Um, this one has the Miami Dolphins on it, which is my favorite NFL team, so that's why I got that one. These are just really old, cool Coke bottles. 
I don't know, whatever. Um, these shot glasses are Game of Thrones shot glasses, which are pretty cool. I got those from a Reddit gift exchange, so that's really awesome. It has the, uh, the four main houses on there. If I can hold the camera right so you guys can see it. Uh, Maker's Mark, we, I actually visited the Maker's Mark distillery uh, for my bachelor party. We went and took a tour and I got both of these bottles, I dipped them myself and then they sent me this Maker's Mark Christmas sweater to keep it warm I guess in the wintertime, I don't know, whatever. Um, <laughs> we got Yoshi, we got the greatest series of all time, Gilmore Girls in the background. Uh, that's, that's not mine, I swear, it's, that, that, that's not mine though. Uh, we got books, because I like to read, I like to be learned. Um, I got really big goofy sunglasses for whatever reason. Here's a picture of me when I was really young. I was at a Blink-182 concert, so that's pretty sweet. Um, let's see. I got my two guitars right there. That's an acoustic slash electric guitar, which is pretty sweet. And this guitar over here uh, was actually my great grandpa's. And then I put my Minecraft sword here because I figured it would be like two axes and one sword. Huh? See what I did there? See? See? Get it? It makes sense. Um, <laughs> This is all of my cool Star Wars stuff. Um, I have a ton of Star Wars Legos. So you can see I got the crash landing from C-3PO and R2-D2. Got some ships, got the new X-Wing. Got a walker in the background. Got this sweet Star Wars chessboard right there. We got the Millennium Falcon. We got the AT-AT or ad ad however you want to see it. It doesn't matter, I'm not gonna judge you. <laughs> um, this shelf, we got some board games down there because everyone likes to play board games. We have, we got Dragonite, we got Pac-Man, we got the two-star Dragon Ball from the boy Rhyme Style. Uh, we got our Scouter, we got some more stuff from the 1UP box. Um, that's a picture of my daughter from when she was really, really young. We have the IU clock because it's five o'clock somewhere. Um, I love Legos, if you can't tell. Uh, so we have a Lego White House, which I just thought was cool. Uh, we have Lego Minecraft, which this actually comes apart and you can see what's on the inside there. Uh, we have a Lego pumpkin, for whatever reason. Rubik's Cube, if you're, you know, feeling smart. A scorpion, this actually came from Texas a long time ago when I was a little kid. My dad went to Texas and he brought back this scorpion and this piece of glass. Um, I don't know, and I've always kept it. I thought it was really cool, so it's kind of scary. <laughs> I'm always afraid that it's going to, like, break out of there and try to get me. Uh, we got a Father's Day card that my kids made for me. That's pretty cool. Got all of my Dragon Ball Z pop figures that I've been trying to get. Some Game of Thrones pop figures. We got Leonardo, the Ninja Turtle right back there. Um, let's see. I have all those cool cards that I unboxed the other day. Those are just kind of hanging out in the background because I didn't really know how to put them up yet. And then, of course, here's where all the good stuff is. We got the different Gokus figures that I got. We got Vegito over there. We got Frieza. Oh, by the way, these are the figures that I uh, gave away one of each of. So that's what the Frieza looks like fully put together. That's what the Goku looks like fully put together. I've got them all posed up there doing their different attacks. Uh, let's see, we got that giant Super Saiyan 2 Goku, or excuse me, Gohan figure that was pretty cool. Uh, we got a smaller figure art Super Saiyan 2 Gohan right there. And then of course we have another uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta down there. More bottles up top, because of course, we have to represent Mountain Dew. It wouldn't be my room if it wasn't filled with Mountain Dew memorabilia. <laughs> uh, both of these bottles, I, again, I don't know, I just love bottles, I'm weird. Uh, these are, this is sand from when I went to Florida on spring break one year, which is, I don't know, it's really weird. Really weird thing to keep, but whatever. Uh, these were also just really cool bottles because they were gross, disgusting soda, but we tried a bacon soda and a peanut butter and jelly soda. And they were not good, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> uh, I have this really old Coca-Cola Classic uh, Coke can with uh, Santa Claus on there because I always thought that was pretty cool. We got my Ash Ketchum hat right there. Uh, I have this red wig that I've had forever since high school. I don't, again, I don't know, I save the weirdest things. Um, <laughs> I have my longboard, Stella. Uh, she is beautiful, she's been in my life for a few years now. She's incredibly fun to ride. Uh, of course, more Mountain Dew stuff. We got that Mountain Dew t-shirt right there. We got the magnetic dartboard for when you're feeling crazy, when you're feeling, you know, feeling feeling froggy, you want to come over here and throw some magnetic darts. We got the 2013 flag from the Masters, which is amazing. I love golf a lot. I try to play as much as I can, um, so that's really cool. Let's see, we have another Mountain Dew sign, and then of course we have our Super Saiyan Blue Goku uh, poster that we just got the other day from the candy sound box, that's pretty cool. We have, let's see, my amp is down there for my guitars. Um, the snack, cheese balls, of course, for when you're feeling hungry. 
And last thing, I guess, is my cool Star Wars glass. Did I show this? I don't know if I showed this or not. We got the Star Wars glass, then we got a Star Wars calendar over here that's got different artwork on it. Um, so I always know what day it is. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, so it's got different different artwork on there. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. We'll give you one more shot. That's, that's where I sit. That's what I see. Um, all my consoles and stuff. Just give you one more roundabout of, of what it's what it's like to be me, I guess. <laughs> um, so there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed stopping by my room for a little bit and you enjoyed what you saw and got a little taste of uh, what it is. There's still a bunch of stuff that I have to do. Uh, my whiteboard, I still need to hang that up so I can draw cool stuff on that. And uh, I want to get some more stuff to hang up around the room just to make it feel more like home. I think I'm going to draw some like cool designs on the foam, like the soundproof foam and stuff. Um, I don't know, just to make it so that it doesn't look like super cheap white foam hanging on the wall. Um, but I didn't want to shell out like hundreds of dollars for a soundproof foam because it's not really necessary. This this cost me seven dollars <laughs> and I have like seven feet of it left to use if I want to put up more squares of it. So uh, you don't always have to spend a ton of money for you to get quality stuff. I mean, I have a freaking sock on my microphone for crying out loud. So um, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for stopping by my room, my setup. Um, thanks for you know supporting me through the move and all that kind of stuff and uh, not getting mad at me for taking a few days off. Well, I only missed one day recording. I took a few days off from streaming um, just so I could get the room all set up and uh, not get behind on too far behind on recording my actual content for my YouTube channel. Um, so thank you so much for your support there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, leave a like. Why not? If it's your first time stopping by and you just thought this was a cool room, make sure you hit the subscribe button, stick around, let's have some fun. And as always, I will talk to you in the next video. Later.